Hey, this is Fred and welcome to The Shed. Today we're looking at Taking Back Sunday's 12 Days of Christmas, a song that Adam Lazara and I sung exactly 15 years ago. We're gonna talk about how it came about and how that wacky, wacky video came into existence in the first place. The crazy thing about this video is it has like a million and a half views and there are people that go watch it every year, but it came together so spontaneously and just not a lot of effort or planning went into it uh, to begin with. It was 2006 and we were going in to do a live acoustic session for AOL Sessions, which at the time was one of the biggest music outlets on the internet. So we were pretty excited to do it, but they had asked beforehand if we could learn a Christmas carol because the holidays were coming and we weren't really into the idea, to be honest. We got to the session and they were like, did you get a chance to learn the Christmas song? And we hadn't at all, but we wanted to come up with something uh, and we were gonna have to come up with something on the spot. I remember that when I was a little kid, they used to play this version of 12 Days of Christmas from the, this comedy movie called Strange Brew with Rick Moranis. And they just made up like their own stuff for each day and it ended with, uh, my true love gave to me a beer. And it was the 80s, so beer was like never not funny in a movie back then. So real quickly, we tried to throw it together. We looked up what the 12 gifts were that they got on the 12 days of Christmas. And I quickly tried to learn how to play it on the guitar with the simplest chords possible. We both like looked at it separately, but we didn't discuss anything. So like I was looking at it and going like, figuring out what I might think is funny about these gifts. And I guess Adam was doing the same thing, but we really only had one chance to do it because what you hear in the video is like my first impression of hearing his jokes and his first impression of hearing my jokes. So it was, uh, it was only going to work once. If we had done a second take, it wouldn't have been funny anymore. There were a couple things Adam threw in that made me laugh out loud while we were playing. And I'm not still not sure if those were things he came up with on the spot or if he thought of those beforehand. But we only spent about 10 minutes and then the cameras were rolling and, uh, and it was go time. <laughs> so we really didn't take it all that seriously. Uh, but after it came out, people thought it was funny and a few radio stations around the country started playing our version. So that was when um, our manager met someone that made the animation um, and all we were told was that it was sort of like this SNL thing from the late 90s. Um, Robert Smigel had this thing called TV Funhouse and we thought we heard that it was going to sort of be wacky like that sort of style and certainly all that off the wall stuff you see um, we didn't know what to expect uh, but we thought it was cool and funny and we just went with it. The thing about this is every step of the way, um, it was just sort of like, I don't know, let's just go with it. And from the point of like not really wanting to do the Christmas Carol in the beginning to what it wound up being, you know, that's the things that you really love when you didn't plan on something being a success and then people liked it so much more than you thought they would. It, it's, it's a luck thing, really. There we are, Christmas is for the birds. A Zonky Christmas special. Yeah, hell yeah, it's Zonky. Oh, this is getting me all in the Christmas spirit right now. There's Adam, and I never would have thought when I was a kid that I would be in animated form, but I, I love it. What can I say? Who wouldn't hey, want that? Hey, Merry Christmas, Adam. Merry Christmas, Fred. Merry Christmas to everyone. Yeah, man. You yes. having a good year? Yeah, you know, it just feels good to be next to you here on the holidays here and you say Merry Christmas. It just warms my heart, man. It's like soul food, like fried okra. Dude, I'm having a great holiday this year. It's awesome. Adam yeah, speaks man. like a true so, Southerner. Uh, so you want to sing for these people or what? Yeah, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. I don't even know what a partridge is, to a be honest. A partridge is a bird. I think it's a bird that doesn't fly. Like Donnie Bonaducci? Um, no, it's... He's ripped. Ripped, I'm I heard he's a little... You know, That's Danny Bonaducci. 
he was a child yeah, actor well, on a show called now. The Partridge Family, and he kind of went crazy when he was older. So on the, on the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. Turtle cool. doves. Cool. They're, they're Do nice. they have shells? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I just uh, got the joke. The turtle doves. Do they have shells like turtles? Oh. Three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. That's, Bernard, can you sing Anadani on a <laughs> That's Danny Bonaduce. <laughs> What's up, Santa? Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a Donny. Bonaduce. And it's 100% good, Danny yeah. Bonaduce. Yeah, it works. This, this but we don't syllables. realize. Yeah, so I started to wonder <laughs> if she, if my true love, if my old lady was going to get me anything other than a bunch of birds. Yeah, so yeah, far they're all like pooping everywhere and stuff. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> they're hard to clean up after. So far she got me four calling birds, French hens, turtle doves. The French hens, which are, or the French hens that are eating all, eating all your cheese, drinking up all your wine. <laughs> Like all hours of the day, I love France. So I, I really do love she was France. She's gonna give me something good. And on the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden. It's, it's the green giant from the soup nice. cans. Yeah, I was finally happy. <laughs> Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a pot. And there's Danny Bonaduce as Santa Claus. So like with the five golden rings, that's that's kind of yeah, nice. Set. But then like on the sixth day, she started giving me I, just, I just cut Adam off. Yeah, yeah. But on the sixth day, it kind of went downhill. And the seventh, he's very Jeremy. he's very uh, kind and understanding. Piece of laying, <laughs> which is piece of lay, like geese, laying down. No geese like, that are laying. Lay. Yeah, like ooh, like. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm very I'm awkward in these situations, the and I day, tend to embrace day, the awkward. Swimming, more birds swimming. I, like I, I hate it. Or in your bathtub. On the eighth day, it yeah. got really weird. Yeah. Cause on the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight maids of milking. What? Yeah. Wait, are they I, milking the geese as they're laying? I think they're like lactating. I, I, I have so many questions to the person it. that wrote this song. If someone, if someone knows the meaning behind all these, maybe an old Englishman. Oh, okay, okay, cool. That guy kind of. Oh, was oh well, did, well, that explains the maids of milking. <laughs> no, these were like uh, exotic dancers, like you can <laughs> like, see ding, on the ding, internet. Ding, 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 More ding, awkward, ding, as yeah, you can it see. Was nice. There was like <laughs> yeah. One of those poles and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, but this is your old lady that's getting you these things. It's kind of weird. She's. Adam know, makes a nice point there, actually. She's looking out for me, you know? <laughs> tenth day, tenth day. Okay. On the tenth day, I got crazy again. Yeah. Because she gave me ten lords of leaping. Like the Dark Lords. <laughs> I don't know. And then so 11th weird. day, Piper's piping. Piper's. These are by far the strangest gifts I have ever received. I don't understand. Wait, like laying pipe? <laughs> oh. No, that, that's the uh, geese that are laying pipe. Oh. <laughs> um, but maybe they're laying it with the pipers, which oh. would be weird altogether. <laughs> but on the 12th day of Christmas is the last day my true love gave to me. 12 drummers drumming. Which for, everybody could use a good drummer. Yeah. I could use twelve drummers. Jerry Garcia yeah. uh, there. The Grateful Dead had two drummers. The Slipknot has like ten. Is yeah. that the Slipknot that was, guy on the like left? I have no switch idea. Which drummers or are they just studio guys? I think they are pretty badass. So, Look, so let's go down the list <laughs> oh, and finish okay. this godforsaken song off. Oh, okay. And wish well said. A very merry Christmas. Twelve drummers drumming. Eleven pipers piping. Ten lords a leaping. Nine ladies dancing. Give it up for the ladies dancing. Go ladies. Okay. Eight maids are milking. Seven swans are swimming. Six geese are laying. Five golden Oh, now I'm getting in that Christmas spirit all over again. Let's take it home. Four calling birds. Three French hens. Two turtle doves. And a Donny Bonaduce. Nice harmony. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you had fun watching this with me. See you on the next one.